close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch it coming in, watch it going out. And if the mind wanders off, don't let it wander off. Let it come back, right back. Keep pulling it back, pulling it back. We hear so much about acceptance in the Buddha's teachings. There's some things he has to accept. The fact that once we're born, there's going to be aging, illness, and death. That's for sure. But what we don't have to accept is that we're going to suffer from these things. And the reason we suffer is because our minds are out of control. But they don't have to stay out of control. We can bring some control into our thoughts. As soon as you realize that a thought is going in a negative direction, remind yourself, you don't need this. You don't have to go there. Why is it that we feel compelled to go to negative thoughts? I know so many positive things to think about. You can think about your virtue, you can think about your generosity. You can think about the goodwill you have for beings all around you. Those topics lift the mind, make you want to do more of them. Otherwise, the mind just starts coasting, 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 and goes wherever the momentum takes it. Which is something you don't have to accept. This is the whole lesson of the Buddha's life. As a young prince, he saw that even though he was young, someday he was going to grow old. Even though he was healthy, someday he was going to get sick. Even though he was alive, someday he was going to die. Those are not topics only for old people. Young people have to think about them because they have to think about where their life is going to go, what, what they want to do with their lives, what's going to be useful, what's not going to be useful. You learn how to sort things out. So the prince was young, but he realized, I have to do something to prepare for these things. And that's why he went out into the wilderness. And that's how he ultimately found the Dharma. But in preparing for them, it wasn't simply learning how to accept them. It was saying, telling himself, there's got to be some way I don't have to suffer from these things. So that when the body ages, the mind doesn't age. The body grows ill, the mind doesn't grow ill. When the body dies, the mind doesn't die. It's already that way, and it's not going to die anyhow, but it's going to, it could lose its goodness at that point. And when it does, okay, who knows where you're going to go. So you want to train your mind so you can be prepared for these things. And so you can find something that doesn't age, doesn't grow ill, doesn't die. It's there. It can be found. And when you found that, then the change in the body and the change in things around you doesn't hit you so hard. In fact, it doesn't hit you at all. Because you found something that's really solid. So look down inside, because there's something solid in here. And that way, even though we accept the fact of aging, illness, and death, we're defiant in the face of these things. That we're not going to let ourselves just roll over and die. We're going to show that we can do something that takes us beyond the reach of these things. That's why the Buddha's teachings are really good. That's the main point of the whole teaching. So make sure you keep that main point in mind.